What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we're here on Unison League and this is the awesome, long awaited and very important to me video. Um, it is going to be the proposed changes. But first I want to just tell you guys that it is my birthday. So yes, that is happening right now. So thank you guys all for those birthday wishes that you guys have been giving me in game. But um, let's go ahead and get into the video. So this is going to be the proposed changes guys i'm going to go ahead and start off basically this is uh, a video that is inspired by jtb unison uh one of the youtubers that is pretty active on uh unison league and he did a video a while back that he was um he was actually uh proposed to do like a gold augment quest which actually came into uh being which is pretty awesome so um I don't know I'm pretty sure you guys can thank him for that but it's pretty cool um, so let me go ahead and get into the proposed changes um, the first change that I actually wanted to do before I even actually did this video was uh, filtering plus items which actually was implemented already which actually you can do now so um, you can go into you know list and then filter by plus item values right so um, now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the next change that I had on my list here uh, plus items um, now have a green plus and a number value indicating the top plus stat and a red plus and number value which uh, represents the bottom stat so basically this would be you know 99 99 right so basically the top plus would be here plus 99 in green right here right and then plus 99 in red would be on the bottom here it kind of would just be you know an ease of life type of uh, change but I think it would be pretty cool to be able to have like this one is a bottom plus you don't have to go into it like this hold and click to check it it just has this plus one in red on the bottom here and then if it was a plus one top it would have plus one in the on the top there if it was plus two and they were di divided obviously you know you pretty much get it one uh, you know the number value in red on the bottom if it's has uh, any bottom stats and then the number value in green on the top if it has any green stat uh any top stats all right the next thing that i would propose is that plus items values are now shown in the augment screen so anytime you want to say augment a um a uh item here like this which i'm actually um using just as a you know as a substitute here so until I put something in um, all this wolf into something like that I get in a new item uh, probably like Absaris once I get it once I put it in here I don't know how much pluses is besides looking at over here um, but also if you put like multiple pluses in here you don't know which items are giving which pluses right um, and also uh, like yes I selected that I press ok um, you should also be able to deselect here so like if I deselected that I should be able to remove it from that screen so you know um, that would be cool to just know that a hey, by the way this is a plus one uh, bottom here so it would stick it would st have that plus one right here in red on the bottom and then you'll just know oh yeah that's the one that's plus one bottom because then if you say like had like a couple of these in here right and they had different pluses on them you're like oh actually I don't really need this one here let me just see which one was that again and then you're gonna have to look at it again right to to see which one it is it would just save a little bit of time be a little bit more easy and be like kind of cool to have that there so the next thing I wanted to talk about with plus items is uh, plus item value is now shown on quest results screen so basically when you are done with the quest uh, it shows you how many plus items you got that would just be nice to have um, all right, so that's 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 just that you know right when you're done with the quest, it'll show you your items and then you'll see if they have any pluses there. Um, the next thing uh, done with plus items now, uh, so it should be the next thing is augment materials are no longer shown in gear when trying to equip weapons, armors, or helms. So you know you can also you know use them as cosmetics, but I don't see any possibility where you would want to really equip any um, like augment materials, like say. Uh, I don't really have any augment materials right now. I think I have some limitments actually so like the okay say like we you wouldn't really want to equip any of these right here uh, like exp limitments you could do like the gold limit strategy like for a super troll if you wanted to but um really it's more for like the weapons and stuff 
or any of these I, I would rather have it so that you can kind of like you, you don't have to we can't equip these even like the game should be like smart enough to know that you shouldn't really equip any of these of the 99 cost uh stuff right so and it's just annoying to be having to like go through um this whole this whole like thing where you're like you know being able to equip these uh different different uh reforged materials so maybe they could be like an option where you can say like click to you know not show reforged materials or something or or exp materials because it's just like going through a bunch of reforged stuff just to get to the bottom yeah i guess you could sort it but still kind of annoying um the next thing i would i uh, would want to say is caspasas and eggs may now be broken down into lower tier caspasas and eggs um, so they basically say sometimes you need like one of these green guys right here instead of one of the higher tier ones or say if you need like one of these lower tier green guys instead of one of these bigger ones you can just break this guy down so instead of augment it could be like um, like reforge or deforge or something or you know break down like one of these options here and you click that and it could even break it down it doesn't have to be back into six you can even break it down and it only breaks down into three or something but just have the option to do that if you wanted to that would be nice the next thing is kind of similar to that is uh, monsters are now able to be broken down into materials so basically I have all these monsters in my in my um, gear locker here always go I always go to menu for gear locker because I'm so used to it but um go go to gear locker and I have like a bunch of these like even like I have two Valkyries I'm not even using but um I'll use that Lilith later but for sure like these guys I'm not gonna be using these guys for sure I'd rather have like eggs if I can have some SSR eggs for these guys or whatever that would be cool uh, and like maybe some Crespasas I'd rather have that uh, than these guys like these SSR guys um, I'd settle even just for one of those SSR eggs for each of these that would be super cool but selling them just seems kinda like I, don't, I just don't wanna sell them for some reason I just just feels wrong to sell like the monsters so it would be cool if I could be able to break these guys down into materials that would be really nice um, yeah, so that's pretty much the idea behind that. Um, the next is the next uh, item on my list is you may now augment up to 20 times at once. So basically, it's just almost like the selling thing where it's like you're just wasting time selling a bunch of stuff. You're gonna augment the thing to to like full anyways. You might as well be able to put in 20 at a time. So instead of being like uh, augmenting, you know, this guy five at a time, you can. You can augment 20 so it basically it'll be like this and then you can scroll down like this you'll just be able to scroll down and then there's more options here to put more materials you know 20 and then you can look you can scroll down and look to see and then when you come back up and you can augment it or you can take stuff out at this augment screen that's why also you should be able to take stuff out at this augment screen so basically when you selected it you'll have like say you selected some stuff to augment right you selected some stuff to augment here right and then you can click that and it'll deselect that one you know what I mean and then if you want to reselect it obviously you can just click that screen and put it back in but you should be able to like just deselect from here just like deselect and then if you want to if you want to put more back in you put it back here because sometimes it'll be you'll be like on this part of the screen and you got to come back up or like say if like you went over here and like did like something like this then you say okay then you when you go back in it's over here right so you got to go back down and like oh like where's number five? Oh, there it is you know what i mean so it's just kind of just something that you you know you should be able to just boom disconnect deselected that one and then if you want to reselect something it's going to be the plus is going to be here now so like obviously this instead of having to go here like this okay then the plus will just be there right when you click it so boom the plus is, appears on four now okay the next thing um i propose is Players will now be able to see how many times or how many items can be put in and taken out of the gear locker. This system will also not allow players to continue to select items over the allotted space. So basically, um, when you go into your gear locker, oh, I keep doing that. So go into your gear locker, uh, store items in gear locker, right? 
this is just saying how many items you have in your inventory. It's not how, saying how many items that can go into your gear locker, right? Like, I could select 20 items here. And, um, let's just say I probably don't even have this much space, right? Move to gear locker, yes. Oh, uh, no. Alright, let's see if I can put 9 in. No. Let's see if I can put 8 in. Pretty much you guys get the gist of this. Because, um, even if it was just the secondary part of this, um proposed proposed idea like I don't have any space in my gear locker right let me just go back achieve item from your gear locker right okay I have one space in my gear locker so basically um, what it would be is I would put one here and then when I tried to select two it wouldn't even come up like you know uh, basically there's a, a system in here already like that it's when you augment something right um, so all right so you when you augment something you go and you click five things, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, well look, I can't select six things because there's no such thing as selecting six augments, right, right now. So basically, I'm just proposing that this same system happens when you try to put more than the allotted space in your gear locker. You're like, they're like, no, no, no. You can't put that many stuff in your gear locker. There's not many, that many spaces there. Just like how there's not, not more, than six, more than five spaces in this augment screen. Okay, you can also uh, fix this just by saying, uh, oh, by the way, you have this much stuff in your gear locker. You don't have this much space in your gear locker. So when you go into the gear locker uh, store item in gear locker, it says right here that you have tw like two, um, 249 out of 250, right? Over here. You know, either one works, but something needs to be done here. Okay, next proposed change is. Buyback items, 24 hour storage, 20 items, history limit. So basically, uh, like you sell something like, oh my god, I just sold my uh, 198 Apollo, like my world is over. Like, you know what I mean? It's pretty much game changing when you do that, right? Obviously, you know, you can put favorites on now, but like say if you, say if you had like a Banshee that you just got from your rare spawns, right? And you're like, oh cool, I got a Banshee. But then you're in your uh, inventory and you're like just clearing stuff out and you kill, you know, kill all your rares that you don't need. And you're like, oh man, I just sold my Banshee. Or if you sell like your pl a plus item, whereas I do that all the time sometimes. Like I'll be like over here and I'll be like, okay, da -da 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 -da, and then I'll be like sell and I'll be like sell and I'll be like no, like one second later because I sold a plus item, right? No, I do not want to sell that plus item. So it's just a system that's like, oh, like dang, I just sold something like I really, really needed, like without basically i'm sure gms get bothered all day long with tickets that say hey i just sold this hey i just sold that like let's just put it in the game that you can buy back your items within a 24 hour period and then once that 24 hour period is over your items just get cleared and that's your fault whatever but when you sell something like by accident or say if something lags or something and it sells they don't ever give you your item back i i had lagged one time and it sold something for me and uh, they didn't give it back so I mean, I understand that's fine, but it's cool if you have a si it would be cool if you have a system in place where you can actually go back into the sell whatever you sold, like and be like, oh cool, like let me just buy it back for the exact same amount of gold, or you can even charge more gold for it, whatever. All right, the next proposed change. When selling items, players may now deselect items from the sell confirmation screen. So basically, uh, almost like that augment thing where you're you're be able to deselect that. Like you can sell this, and then it's like, oh, okay, let's deselect these things, and then okay, cool, yes. So basically, it's just gonna st stay on the screen. You deselect these here, and then you you know, oh, I actually didn't want to sell this blue guy. Like click the blue guy, and then yes, sold right. And just something like that be easy, a little bit quicker, and a little bit easy life thing there. Um, the next proposed idea is encyclopedia cosmetic items are now equipable through cosmetic gear sets. Players may now add encyclopedia items to a cosmetic set. These cosmetic sets will now function like gear sets and will be available for purchase with one gem per set. So basically you can come in here and say, um, you know, gear sets right here, right? And there'd be like maybe another tab here that says like cosmetic sets. Right, and you come in here and you click on your cosmetic set and then you can put in your weapon, helm, armor, and then you save it. 
so you go back out and it's like uh, you know whatever dragon lady or whatever and you have your dragon armor on right and then this one is like you know tech or something and he has like his tech armor or whatever and you save that out and so basically you don't have to go around like in your thing and like oh where did I put that thing again like oh wait now I gotta buy some cosmetic key and then like oh wait do I have to click this on encyclopedia it's like oh wait a second I actually have it in my gear locker and then yeah so basically it's just like an ease of life thing where you can um, you can basically just have sets of cosmetic gear that you have your go-to like cosmetics and you just boom 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 you can you can be whatever you want to be quickly and change your cosmetics like with one click just a really quick idea about that all right the next thing I propose is proficiency adding uh, proficiency event quest so just like the gold limitman quest there should be like a proficiency uh quest where like maybe like there's a purple limitman or something and he just gives proficiency like mass amounts of proficiency and then you can just spam that all day that would be awesome and i know it's it's probably a little bit op but it might be awesome uh to be able to just go into quests and then you know go to quest event quest and then there's a purple limitman uh proficiency here that would be awesome um, because I'd be spamming proficiency all day and it's like oh my god mind mind boring it's like mind bogglingly boring mind numbing so um, that's just one thing I proposed um, another thing that you actually can uh, is pretty cool is um, a different idea is players may now use one gem to boost proficiency gain by 50% for 30 minutes so basically instead of uh, being able to go into quest quest then you say you want to go to the immortal immortality quest these right here exp boost gold boost and instead of random boost it just like proficiency boost right here so you you, you have a proficiency boost and per boost your proficiency to be a 1.5 just like any of the other boosts and it costs a gem for 30 minutes another um, proficiency uh, type of fix or kind of boost is angelmans now give players who can no longer gain exp 35 50 or 65 proficiency instead of exp you know how we, uh, angelmans are like oh like an angelman showed up and it's like oh i don't really care because i'm like level 95 it's like basically the the um the limitments will check your level if your level the max level at the time you're instead of giving you um high amounts of exp like the small limitments will give you 35 the bigger ones will give you 50 and then like the, the king one will give you 65 or whatever you the king one can give you like 100 or, or the you know basically i just wanted to have the limitments give you something still give you that like oh cool i got like this rare like spawn of lim uh, the angel mins uh and then like they give you proficiency instead of exp just you know in a nutshell um as far as um, I think this is the last point and actually uh, it came to me by one of my friends on on uh, in game uh, goes by the name of Steven uh, he talked to me on the line he said hey man you know it'd be awesome and I agree with him fully is when you're actually in game and I'll just go ahead and go in game real quick so you guys know what I'm talking about oops immortality begin quest so basically um, in the, at this point in the game you can still have a button right here which allows you to actually uh, switch characters with whoever here so you basically click this guy and just like how say if you're clicking a, a, a skill right you just click it and uh, on mouse up or on when you you tap when you leave your finger up it is going to um, do the skill right but if you hold down on your skill right here, I don't know if a lot of people didn't know that, but it, it'll give you a option right here um, to look at what your skill does, right? So just like how that works, you click on this guy right here, right? And you hold click on him, and then it'll come up a thing where it's ask, uh, asking you if you want to switch with him, yes or no. And then you can either say cancel or swap, and then it'll go swap. And then just like how it is in GB, you'll have like, a little person here and it'll be like an exclamation point it won't be too 
crazy like something that pops up on your screen but it'll be something like on the side here with a little exclamation point and it's like oh this guy wants to swap with you um, okay cool so it doesn't it doesn't give you any um, advantage battle wise as, as far as like mitigating damage or anything like that but it gives you an advantage battle wise in terms of being able to swap with uh, players for like say a knight's loyalty or um, if the healer needs to be on the side right here because he's gaining so much aggro that um, the AoE attacks will only attack two players instead of three. Like say if the healer's right here, he's getting all this aggro, or the uh, soldier's right here is getting all this aggro, and the AoE attacks are always attacking these three people, but this guy's a healer, and this guy is like a really low, uh, you know, gear score or a really low defense person. You want to be able to swap this guy up to this corner right here, and the healer probably down here, so, so that healer doesn't always have to heal himself. And then the the uh, healer can focus in on these two guys, right? It's so basically a swapping, a, a swapping mechanism where you're able to swap people um, in PVE, uh, just like how you're able to swap in PVP. However, you don't have a like five, four, three, two, one swap thing. You just swap. So. Uh, and it doesn't give any like damage mitigation or anything like that. It'll just it'll just basically swap you places. And then if you're if the damage came in at the same time you swapped, it'll just be you know it'll take the damage on you like that. It'll just do the damage to you. It won't be like oh it does the damage to a different person you know. Or you you know you can figure it out um, how the damage works when you're swapping. But it would just be nice to be able to swap. So. That's about it for the proposed changes guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that and um, I really would like to, if you guys would share the video as well as tell people on the forums about it um, and tell a team about it if you guys could. I'll put it on the forums as well as uh, Reddit so uh, definitely look out for that. Um, also if you guys have any other thing you guys want to add definitely put it in the comments below uh, and I'll maybe make another video later on. But definitely, if you guys could uh, help me out with this, I would really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys would, um, just just you know, post to a team um, official forums, talk to the administrators and the um, the people that are in charge of talking to a teams themselves. That would be really cool. Um, yeah, so that's about it for this one. If that helped you out at all, or if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If it didn't help you out at all, uh, or you, you know you didn't like it, you can give me a thumbs down. Um, also, definitely hit up the comments telling me what you guys want in the next video, as I will be making those videos um, very frequently. Uh, as always, thank you guys all for watching, and take it easy. Peace.